hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from Samax code and in this video guys we're gonna talk about your very first java effects application and by the way guys this is a video tutorial series on java effects and this is especially designed for beginners and as you can see i'm using netbeans ide version 8.2 but you can also use the latest version of NetBeans and I have a step-by-step -step tutorial guide on how to set up your NetBeans to work with the Java FX and also if you want to use Eclipse there's also a video tutorial for that and all the links is uh, available in the description box below now let's talk about your very first Java FX application so let's go ahead and create our new project so by clicking this option right here or you can go to file and then new project so for this video I'm going to select Java FX application the first option right here and you can also create Java FX preloader uh, pre program or project FXML application you can also create swing application based on Java FX or you can also have like the Java FX project with existing sources but for our purposes we can use the first option which is the Java FX application. So click on next and then we can name our project as Java FX demo. And currently I am unchecking the create create, uh, create application class option because we're gonna uh, create our main class manually later on in this video. So click on finish and there you go. We now have our very first Java effects project and as you can see we have an empty package or empty project right now and basically whenever I try to create a new project I am trying to organize my my files by using packages so in here it says default package we can we can create a new package right here by just right clicking this and new and um, Java package so I'm just going to name my package as org.sumxcode.demo and inside this package I'm just going to create a new class for our JavaFX application so it's uh, it's going to be main.java so currently it's empty because uh, we will try to add line by line all the necessary uh, code in order for us to run our very first Java FX application. So basically, guys, the first thing that we're gonna need to extend the application class. So this is a class from the Java FX. So application, and then we're going to import this and make sure it is importing from Java FX application package, not the other one. So make sure to import from Java FX application right there and it's going to have uh, an issue because uh, it is saying that we did not implement the abstract methods of the javafx uh, application that application class so let's try to implement that so implement abstract methods of the app application class and let's just remove this for now and basically we also need the main method for our class which is public public static void main okay right there and we can launch our application and we can add this as the argument for our application of course and right here guys we can use this uh, stage or primary stage object to display a very simple window for our JavaFX application. So primary stage dot show. Okay. And that's I think that's it guys. We can run our JavaFX demo project to uh, preview it. So select class and it's gonna take a few seconds. And there you go. Uh, our our very first JavaFX application uh, it's empty for now. We did not set the title. We don't have content to our window. 
So let's just try to modify our project for now to include title and maybe resize the window. So what we can do now is try to add a button to our window. So right after the opening curly brace, we can add or declare the button right here by typing in button and then btn calls new button which will take a string parameter for its label. So if you want to label your button as click me, so try to uh, type in click me there and of course it's going to complain because we don't uh, we did not up, uh, import the B, uh, button class as of the moment so click on that and then import instead of using the java awt that button so make sure to use the second one which is coming from the java effects okay and there you go after that one we can set first we can uh, use a layout for our window so that's basically stock pane and um, root someone is calling <laughs> sorry about that uh, stock pane and um, root equals new stock pane so basically we're just trying to add a layout to our window so we're gonna talk about later on this layouts or different layouts because there are available or many available layouts in JavaFX so import this for now and right there we can say root that get children and add the PTN that we have created so click me so it should contain the or I mean the stock root pane or the stock pane root will contain the element button so right there and after that one we can say scene again we're gonna talk about uh, this particular classes right there and basically for now just bear with me and type in new scene we're gonna talk deeper uh, about this classes later on so this particular class takes in three can take three parameters root which is the layout and then the size of our window so for example 600 by 400 so 600 being the width and 400 being the height so import that and of course we need to add the scene to our primary stage that so that's basically primary stage that um, add or set scene which is the scene object right there so basically if we try to run this program right now we can see few changes to our um, window so now we have like the window with no title and we have the button and if you try to click this button uh, nothing will happen for now because we don't uh, we did not set the event for this particular button so let's try to set the event for that so let's go back to our uh, IDE and after declaring the button right there we can say btn set on action and new event handler and then action event new action event open and close and then curly braces and we're going to implement but first let's uh, let's try to import the event or action event from JavaFX and of course the event handler so there you go and it should implement the abstract method so which is handled for now and when we try or our program for now is if we try to click on the click me button it should display something in our console so system that out or pin line so you 
click the button right there. So save. Okay. And run our program just to preview. Okay, so click. So as you can see, we're now getting uh, feedback from our console that we have clicked the the button right there. Okay. So basically what uh, so far what we have is we set or we add something to our window by using the BTN or button class and then we set the layout as stack pane and then add the button to our stack pane right there. We set the size of our scene and um, we set the, the scene of our primary stage to this particular object. So I think that's all there is to it for this tutorial guys and in the next video we're going to talk about deeper about this. So this is our first JavaFX application and guys if you have question uh, please let me know in the comment section below. You can always ask questions if you have something uh, in mind if you have queries and so on. So you let, just let me know in the comment section. And by the way the next tutorial I'm going to talk also about the lambda expressions. Okay, so if you're excited, see you in the next video. Thanks.